Welcome back, Stasis 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today I'm gonna be giving y'all my top 10 nods of 2019, uh, $100 and over. And this was a difficult uh, task, but I managed to get it done. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be putting them in any order, but at the end I will give you probably a top three, a top four of the 10, and maybe, you know, some that shined in certain areas for me as I used them over the over the last year. So let's get started. The first is the Benchmade Super Freak. Good work knife, uh, decent weight on it, M4 steel, good action. You got pretty comfortable uh, scales, G10, layer G10. Um, it doesn't have any liners, so they're able to keep the weight down. I think this was a, a, a big win for Benchmade and well priced as well for what you're getting i guess all righty <laughs> the next one number two the um, ace sonoma um when i first got this i was kind of i don't know 50 50 about it but the more i carried it and the more i used it <laughs> um i started liking it a little bit more and more and the action got better it's gotten a lot smoother. Um, a few of the problems that I was having, I was able to address them, but nothing major and uh, a good knife for what you're getting. It's made by Riot for um, Giant Mouse. You got M390 steel, blasted PVD coated titanium scales. You know, just a good knife. There you go, it's a number. Now, the, the next one I picked up, I think, in January, January, February of, of this year, uh, and that is the Berg's Blade Slim. And so far, <coughs> all the Berg's Blades that I've, I've seen have so many nice custom touches to it. I mean, like those, those curved bolsters, um you know bolster lock right here <clears throat> nice nice fit perfect fit and finish this is done by we knives for him just it, it feels like a custom in hand um this is the hollow ground version and it is super slicey i mean let's see if i can you can see how how thin it gets down there and i got my own edge on it and <laughs> i think i've put a few edges on this since i've gotten it and talk, it's comfortable for me. Uh, you get that three finger and then that four finger rest on that back and that, that wide scales helps for leverage. Uh, super smooth, love it. And I love that it's a thumb, you can use a thumb hole. I mean, that's a thumb hole, not a flipper. So there you go, that's the slim. <clears throat> These, you can still find the under my local shop, Jim's Firearms uh, carries Berg's Blades. And they have, they, they still have some of the slims and the mini iron pups available. So if anybody's interested, check them out. And that's the one in Baton Rouge. <clears throat> All right, the next one, it's still, barely, it's still new to me, uh, but I have been carrying it and using it a lot. And that is the Hogue Deca. Um, so far, I like it. I like it as just a, a general EDC, Not no, nothing fancy about it. Um, it goes in the shop with me sometimes <laughs> or anytime where I want, I want something that, you know, I can use a little bit rougher. I did change out the pocket clip from my copper natrix just because I uh, didn't like the other one. And this way I got a deep carry clip and it's, I don't get the hot spot I was getting from the regular clip. So, <laughs> but that was just me, uh, super smooth. 20 CV steel G10, I think it's 140 bucks. And they just came out with a uh, compound ground worn clip that looks pretty sweet. I may check that out eventually. We'll see. Hogue Knives Deca. <clears throat> Next knife. Uh, I've gotten tons of use out of this. I've modified it. Uh, I've, I love it. And that is the Tepe Designs Hornet. Um, 
I have both versions. I have the titanium S35VN version and I have the G10 D2. I ended up adding this one mainly because I, I like the weight on it. And this D2 performs outstanding. It's nice and slicey. It's got a nice thin grind on it, nice and lean. Um, great action. <clears throat> and it's a triple threat. You got that flipper, you got that spotty flick, and then you got that thumb flick. So there you go. Uh, comfortable. You got titanium milled pot clip that, that works great. It's got that detent, detent, uh, ceramic detent ball that helps it slide in and out of the pocket that rolls around. And I did the, the two-tone on the blade and it's got my edge on it. <coughs> um, excellent, excellent knife. Couldn't say enough good stuff about this. This one has seen a lot of use and it's probably my go-to when I got a lot of cutting to do. This D2 is amazing. I don't know who did it. I don't know who he treated this one for him, but they did a great job. It may have been Peter. I don't know. I'll have to ask him to check my, check my video on that out. The next one is the uh, Angry Baby Bear by Alliance Designs and Ray Laconico. It's the Laconico design. What in the world is that? Um, <coughs> this one... It doesn't get carried as much as I'd like to. I've been carrying a little bit more here lately. Um, I, I, I love I love the look of it, and I love love that deep that deep hollow on this. Super super thin, very good cutter, fairly comfortable. Love that spot right here. Uh, I've been talking to my buddy, uh, one of my buddies on Instagram, and. <laughs> We are talking about I might do a flipper delete on this guy and make it a thumb stud deployment because for me, mainly, I mean, it flips really good, but as you can see, it's all right. it's, it's not a big knife. I got medium sized hands and that flipper tab kind of forces you in a certain direction. I barely, it feels like I'm cramped, especially whenever I bear down, that flipper tab's hitting the back of my finger. So I might either <coughs> trim this flipper tab down a little bit. So, I got a more comfortable grip right here, or I just cut it off and make it a thumb stud deploy deployment knife. But Lions Designs uh, has some awesome, awesome design collaborations and awesome in-house designs. Uh, I don't think they've really took off yet. There's a few of them that I want. <laughs> I mean, they're premium knives. They're made by Riot for the most part, I think. And, uh, that, you know, there's just, uh, there's not a huge market for the higher end knives. All right, the next one, uh, the design, <coughs> this is uh, Gen 3 of this, this model. So the model's been around for a long time, but being that there's, there was a completely different model out this year, I think it was this year, I got it this year. I decided to put it in here. If, if I'm wrong, you just let me know. And this is the Strider PT. Um, I have <laughs> I have the uh, uh, older Gen 2 with the G10 and the titanium. I love that knife. That was a gift from my wife. This one I picked up at Blade Show this year. This was the first purchase I got. This and another S and G. Uh, and before this model, before this Gen came out, you couldn't get all tie and just the regular production as far as i remember um the 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 one that had these scales with a performance series those are the more expensive kind of like i guess you'd call it like a mid-tech or well, i don't know what they actually classified them as so when i saw this one i knew i had to get it. i love the pt <coughs> this one uh, is ground thinner i love that blade shape uh nice and smooth as you can see uh, la, 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 la. and steel holds up excellent it's s30v steel pretty sure it's heat treated at peters i know they used to be I'm pretty sure they still are not a cheap knife by any means but i absolutely love it <coughs> <coughs> next one 
Next one, another another one that I've been liking a whole lot, and I have recently modified it by putting my Anno finish on it, and that is the Quiet Carry Drift. Love, love this knife. Um, I I just did the finish on it. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen it, and I'm debating on whether i'm going to uh anodize the hardware because the hardware is titanium but i was thinking it did good contrast with the blade and so i left the hardware and i mirror polished the uh backspacer and i'm not sure y'all let me know what y'all think down below should i anodize this to a certain color i was thinking bronze or purple or just leave it leave it the way it is uh what i love about this knife besides <laughs> it being a nice slim very edc friendly knife it's using vanek super clean um and that is a pretty much rust proof steel kind of like a lc 200n <coughs> um it, it holds a great edge at least so far in my testing it has and super lightweight they the pocket clip is also made out of a marine grade stainless um riding on bearings very nice very thin thinly ground lot to love <coughs> it did take me a little while to get used to op deploying it for me the spidey flicks the easiest way um it, it's i can't always thumb thumb flick it the detent is dialed more for like a spotty flick and a slow roll um sometimes i can get it i think on the video i was able to get it and another thing that took a little time to get used to is the lock bar there's not there's not a whole lot of uh sticking up right there and i gotta kind of i just take the fat of my thumb and push it over like that and i don't have a problem with it but it's definitely, definitely been in the pocket a whole lot. That is the Clyde Carry Drift. <clears throat> All right. This next one has been in the pocket an awful lot, and I've only had it for, uh, I don't know, since it came out, not that long. And that is the Best Tech Todd Knife and Tool Shodan. The collaboration with Todd Knife and Tool. If you hadn't seen my video on this, go check it out. I have videos on every knife I've shown, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure every knife I've I got a video on. Go check them out if y'all want to see more. Uh, I just I love the aesthetics of this knife. I uh, love that marble carbon fiber it's with that satin finish on it. I love their logo, the Todd Knife and Tool logo on the pivot. Love that you have a full forward finger choil. Super comfortable in this grip. You can get a lot of power into that cut. Nice and thin grind. As you can see, very nice and lean. Great action. It's gotten better and better the more I carry it. It's a triple threat as well. You get that flipper deployment. Spidey flick. And then thumb flick as well. Um, they did an excellent job on this one. This, if I had to pick a favorite... <coughs> Big knife, this is it for me this year. Um, you know, I'm not a huge big knife guy, but this one, just how you can choke up, how light it is in hand, just a lot, there's a lot to love about this knife. So if you if you like this, definitely go check it out. The Best Tech Shodan. <coughs> Alrighty, and the last, Certainly not least, this, this knife has been in my pocket more than every one of these folders. Every one of them by a long shot. And uh, I, lo I love this, this maker's designs. <clears throat> and as soon as he, he said he was making this one, I jumped on it. And that is a Purvis Blades MK2. Um, this is, I think it might be the Primordial, no. Yeah, prim no, Primordial MK2 maybe, or just MK2. Sorry about that. It's I'm tired today. I uh, love that blade shape, that nice clip point. <clears throat> this is a special edition with that purple 
in black and black hardware here. And then you got that marble carbon fiber uh, overlay right here. This knife, <coughs> super comfortable in hand. You get a nice size blade. Uh, it's got all those little special touches where it's easy to get to the lock bar. You got that landing pad right here. Adam from A Purvis Blades, he knows what he's doing. He he he's a he's a knife a knife addict just like the rest of us, and he designs his knife for that purpose. The detent is very perfectly dialed in. Get a nice snappy action on this one. Easy being that it has this long opening hole. I can put my finger down here. It's very easy to uh, to still spotty flick it while having a nice you know not too strong of a detent, but perfect to get that nice flipping action. And if you want, you can also slow roll it being, you can get your thumb down there as well. And if sometimes, yeah, it's it's easy to, to do all the deploying methods. Um, pocket clip works great. Now I will, I will say one thing that happened to me the other day is as you can see, you got a nice crinkle in the pocket clip. And that is because, I mean, look, you can see how thin the pocket clip is in this area. Uh, it got caught on my couch as I was walking by, just that tip caught like that, and it literally bent it straight up right here. And this was the best I could do without really putting a lot of time into it. But it works good. Good again. I just had to bend it down, and I haven't really got that that nub out yet right there. But it doesn't really bother me. As I carry this this guy a lot. So if I had to choose. <clears throat> like you know from the one that gets the most that got the most pocket time since i've had it and that i've been the happiest with would be this one um if i had to choose my favorite big knife like i said it would be the shodan um my best overall like edc true edc knife would have to be the uh quiet carry drift just such a, a, a well thought out EDC knife, you know, something that I uh, that I forget that it's in the pocket and it's it's there to do work whenever I need it. And then if I had to choose my best performer, uh, you know, that really shocked me, it would have to be the uh, Tepe Designs Hornet. These four get a lot of carry time, a lot of use. Like I said, I haven't had, I haven't been able to get enough use on this one yet to really, you know, say if it would outshine the rest. Mainly because I just got it, you know. It hasn't been, it hasn't even been a month yet. But I did, you know, do a lot of testing with it. And so far, you know, I've been enjoying it. So these are my top four out of all the ones I just showed y'all. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you have uh, if you have a top three that aren't if you have three knives that aren't in my list at all and they're like your top three of your collection, let me know down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all number one and number two are out of y'all collection because <coughs> if I don't have them I, and enough people say it, I'll probably have to pick it up for the channel so I can check it out myself. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody had it absolutely awesome christmas for those of y'all who celebrate christmas and everybody has an amazing new year if this video doesn't come out before uh if this video comes out before the new year you know i hope everybody has a happy new year that's all i can say all right guys and girls hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one peace